Code Red, it's not a drill. The reigning Division II state champs are back to defend their title. And with a return trip to Aloha Stadium this Saturday afternoon, Lahaina Luna will be bringing along added check marks in their chase for a second consecutive championship. Last year's motivation was to be the very first. That's, that was our motivation every single year before we won a state championship. And that's what we like to use in the MIL season. We wanted to stay undefeated, not like the other years. So just winning, just winning games. To get there, the Lunas took down one of their school's biggest roadblocks in Iolani. The two have faced off for the D2 title three times in the last 10 years, with the Lunas coming away with zilch. And despite Lahaina Luna jumping out to a 25-point lead at halftime two weeks ago, the Raiders didn't make it easy, scoring three times to make it just a one-possession game in the end. Second half, we just we needed to come out, we needed to come out with more intensity, and I feel like we just had enough push at the end to take us there, but. All two weeks, like over two weeks, coach has been telling us, don't push all at fourth quarter, fourth quarter. That's when it matters. That's when it all matters. And that's, I think that's what got to us. Offensively, the Lunas utilize a chaotic multiple set ground attack to control the clock and misdirect defenses, making it difficult to prepare for. Looking to overcome the challenge will be their opponent, the Konawana Wildcats, who like to take to the air, and it showed in their win over Waipahu. A 53-50 score with senior QB Austin Ewing throwing for 370 yards and four touchdowns, as well as running in two more himself. I've been in here since my sophomore year trying to get uh, this team, this community to that state championship game and play in a little stadium. And, you know, now that my dream comes true since I was eight years old with these boys that's been dreaming about this, it's just amazing to know that we're actually getting to do it. Defensively, both teams have stacked up pretty well, giving up an average of just over two touchdowns per game. But in their last outings in the semifinals, it was the most points either team has given up to a D2 opponent this season. We came down to just hammering, just hammering down. We knew they had a tough offense and our passing game was mean. We focused on their passing game, then the open game, then the running game started to open up. Then we had to re, re, you know, re, readjust. Uh, just remembering our, our assignments, when we tend to ease off and tend to relax, we end up like, I wouldn't say giving up, but in a mood of like, we're satisfied of what we're doing. The focus this week will no doubt be on this Saturday's game. But with the Lunas making their fifth title game appearance, it's a much different approach than it is for the Wildcats making their championship debut. Some of our guys are going to come in with their mentality thinking that it's the same team. But everyone gets better throughout the year. It's like how our story was last year. We started off slow and we finished. Really talking to the kids about, you know, it doesn't matter what you did last year. You're going to be remembered for what you do this year pretty much pounded in their head that it, it last year means means nothing at all. I mean, we're, we're doing it up and we're throwing a party coming into this thing and, um, you know, we're, we're, we're going to live in the moment and have fun with this, but we can't forget at the end of the week that we, we got to play a football game and, you know, that's what we focus on from, you know, 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock at practice and, you know, we're, we're putting in the work and um, we're going to be prepared. On which plane will a core trophy be headed home to this weekend? Lahaina, this one's for you. We got this repeat. Be there this weekend. Nobody's ever done it from Big Island. I and mean, we're going to be the first. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. It's going to be a good game. Honowaina and Lahaina Luna kicks off 2 p.m. at Aloha Stadium. Spencer Honda, ScoringLive.com.